Hello, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Today I'm doing this bathroom ceiling here. So as you can see, let's just zoom in on that. So basically what happens here is, um, whoever painted this originally has banged a coat on the, and not thinned out their first coat on the bare plaster. So you're gonna get this, especially in a, a wet sort of shower area like this. Um, it's always gonna kind of happen. So it's how to deal with this and so the best way i would well i've not used this yet but someone has told me about peel stop i usually use um <coughs> zinza cover stain but so this is the water-based version it's clear um takes a pro approximately yeah dries in an hour and recoatable in two hours um so it seals cracking glazing um glues down old paint edges so Things like this, I mean, it looks a bit chalky as well. So things like this, you could scrape back and then paint over it and then you'll get the edges where you've scraped to will start bubbling up. So hopefully this will stop all that as well. Um, so let's start scraping back and then get it on and we'll see if it works. So having scraped it all back, as you can see, I run my hands along that. It's chalky, so um, this peel stop will cure that and plus when I put it on it's going to stop all these edges along here from bubbling up as well because sometimes that, that happens you paint over it and then these edges start bubbling up and you have to end up scraping more and more and more off so scrape it back until you know as far as you can until it stops you know until it's solid and then get the peel stop on and I'll probably put a skimmer filler over it just a light skimmer filler rub it down and put another peel stop on and then a couple of coats of um, like a durable, either a durable mat or a um, soft sheen or a mid sheen, you know, um, something that the water won't penetrate. So um, yeah, let's, get, let's see how it looks. That's everything scraped back, um, feathered down. As I say, I will put a coat of uh, filler on that. So I'll peel stop it, fill it, rub it down, peel stop it, and then two coats of um, whatever I'm gonna use. I'll probably use the Optiva 5 durable mat in here. So, just wanna show you what the actual stuff looks like inside the tin. So it's quite thick, white. It reminds, it will dry clear, but this reminds me, it must be like a PVA type thing, water-based, so, um, but obviously it has other properties in it. So, um, yeah, let's crack on and see how it works. I've just put a bit on and it does, I mean you can see, I haven't done that bit yet, done this bit, that bit, you can see, see the difference and it does dry clear, um, just want to show you, so I'm just using a tiny little brush, just to sort of soak up all that bare plastic because it is very powdery, I suppose it's the years of people having showers etc and you know just the, the original paint job it's just broken down over the years so yeah it's a nice clear coat easy to use God, yeah so easy to use wash your brush out afterwards with water um, give it an hour fill over it um, as I say you know um, could do it all in a day yeah can do all this in a day so we'll see how it holds up when I've uh, finalized the coat and everything so there we have it, that's the prep done. Um, so that was skim with filler last night. I rubbed it down this morning and I'm gonna put a peel stop on it again now and then come back and then two coat the ceiling later. So um, what I'm saying is that it feels really solid. Everything feels nice and stuck down. Um, so I use a, a murka basically to rub down but you can do it by hand. So yeah, it'd be interesting to sort of see the final look. So there you go, all perfect, like new again. So yeah, really good stuff, the pill stop. I highly recommend it. So that's the process of it all. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you.